hey y'all welcome back to my channel so i hope that y'all are having a wonderful week um as you see i got my young little wig on today because i couldn't get on here with my do-rag in my body amen but i have a word from the lord and i hope and pray that it encourages you and uplifts you um to keep moving forward so a lot of people have been asking themselves or asking the holy spirit am i really am i really creating in your image and in your likeness am i really called to do these things am i really being led by you am i really supposed to move am i really am i really and yes you are yes you are um so when we think about like these false thoughts and these false ideas that's spiritual warfare um, and if we go to 2 Corinthians um, 10, 3 through 5, it says, We are human, but we don't wage war as humans do. We use God's mighty weapons, not worldly weapons, to knock down the strongholds of human reasoning and to destroy false arguments. Um, we destroy every proud obstacle that keeps people from knowing God. We capture their rebellious thoughts and teach them to obey Christ. Um, so... When Jesus took captivity captive, right, um, it gave us access and power and authority so that while we are living in these earthly bodies, we can actually defeat spiritual warfare. We can actually command our carnal minds to yield to the Holy Spirit and his will. Um, so when we think about like these false thoughts and ideas again, um, when we actually encourage these false thoughts and ideas, when we actually just kind of just give in to these false thoughts and ideas, that can lead to our spirits becoming dormant. And again, you have the power and the authority through Christ Jesus to command your carnal mind to yield to the Holy Spirit and to ask the Holy Spirit to kill your flesh. Um, so am i really yes you really are galatians 2 and 20 it says my old self has been crucified with christ it is no longer i who live but christ lives in me so i live in this earthly body by trusting in the son of god who loved me and gave himself for me and again that was galatians 2 and 20 um, to ephesians 4 22 through 24 And that says, throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the spirit renew your thoughts and attitude put on your new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. So when we think about like just how great God is and we think about the attributes of God, the many attributes of God. Um, why would you be any less than if you are created in his image, if you are created in his likeness? Why would you be any less than? Um, and one thing that um, the Holy Spirit had ministered to me the other day, he said, um, people self-doubt, but it's not self that they should be depending on. Um, it is the Holy Spirit. Um, so again, you self-doubt, um, but it's not self that you should be depending on. But when you self-doubt, it's most likely coming from your carnal mind. Um, you doubting your own capabilities instead of believing in the capabilities that you now have because of the Holy Spirit that lives within you and that is one with you. Um, Ephesians 2 and 10, it says, so we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. So emphasis on planned. Um, I have a few definitions here for you. So the w first word is establish, um, to set up on a firm or permanent basis. And so we're gonna also point out the word firm and permanent. So establish is to set up on a firm or permanent basis. And so firm doesn't move, <laughs> permanent 
to last or remain unchanged. And so again, firm doesn't move, right? You can't be moved, shouldn't be moved by your circumstances when established in your foundation, which is Christ Jesus, right? And then permanent, to last or remain unchanged. So the things of the Father, the so the thing that the Father is saying you are or the things that he's saying you are to do are going to leave a permanent mark and shift in the natural and spiritual realm. Um, so yes, you are who he says you are. And yes, you are free. Yes, you are healed. Yes, you are delivered. Yes, you are called to minister. Yes, you are called to teach. Yes, you are called to move. Yes, you are called to your family. Whatever it is that he says you are, yes, you are really. Am I really? Yes, you are. Um, Philippians 1 and 6. Um, and I am certain that God who began the good work within you will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. Um, Galatians 4 and 7. Um, go ahead and just write that one down. Let's go to 1 John 3 and 1. Do 1 John 3 and 1. 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 See how very much our father loves us, for he calls us his children, and that is what we are. But the people who belong to his word don't recognize that we are God's children because they don't know him. Because they don't know him. Because they don't know him. So... <laughs> There's going to be some people that won't receive you because you are living in the ways of the father and they don't know him or they don't understand um, the capacity of their new nature. Um, they don't know. Um, they don't know him or they just don't understand his the ways of him. Um, so they'll say things like she's crazy or she's crazy for thinking that way or she's crazy for doing that. But no, if it's the Holy Spirit that you've been depending on and it's him that is leading you. You are exactly who he says you are and exa doing exactly what he's calling you to do. Um, and then also Proverbs 15, 4, um, it says, Gentle words are a tree of life. A deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Again, we know that there's power in the words that we speak, um, but you become what you obtain and you also become what you speak. Um, and then I want to close with this. Isaiah 55, 8 through 11. My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Um, the rain and snow come down from the heavens and stay on the ground to water the earth. They cause the grain to grow, producing seed for the farmer and bread for the hungry. It is the same with my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to and it will prosper everywhere I send it. Listen, where it says it is the same with my word. What's the word? What's the word? Because John 1, 1 says, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. So the word, he's referring to Jesus. So it says here, it is the same with my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It accomplished all I wanted to and it will prosper everywhere I send it. So if we're made in his image, right? And he's referring to Jesus where it says word. The Holy Spirit was like, insert yourself there so let's do this it says it is the same with me i send you out and it all and you always produce fruit you will accomplish all that he wants us to and we will prosper everywhere he sends us what so am i really yes you are so I hope and pray that you were encouraged by this video, by this word from the Lord. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch y'all on the next video. Ooh.